You. Yeah, you. Come here. Come here. A little bit closer. I got something to tell you. This shit ain't for kids, bruh. What's up, everyone? It's your boy, xmanny 87 here, bringing you another haul video, and I haven't done this in so long. I haven't shown my face in, like, forever, so, um, weird to kind of do this again, but, uh, yeah, man, hope everyone is staying safe out there, and, man, today was a freaking day. <laughs> like, my wallet just lost so much weight today, <laughs> but, uh, a few things I want to share on my Target haul, because I got a bunch of crap at Target and Walmart as well. So uh, let's dive in. And um, man, I need a freaking haircut. I am dying for a haircut so bad. Uh, you probably saw this on my Instagram last night. I did get the Arkham figures. So I got Joker right here and he's looking mighty fine. I love that Jim Lee style like chin. You know, I always like that Arkham design. One of my favorite gaming franchise and I got the Batman as well. Big thanks to my buddy X Devil Skull Mike for giving me the heads up. Our local Target had these and some Targets are weird. Some stores are having like different street dates listed. I don't know. It is so weird but lucky to get these and big thanks to my wife who <laughs> was able to pick this up for me while I was working from home. So yeah I'm totally excited to add these to my Gamerverse shelf. And I'll be reviewing these when I get a chance. So, uh, that is that. And then let's start off with, ah, uh, man. Let's start off with what I got at Walmart. Well, some of the stuff at Walmart. I got the Yellow Ranger. I don't know if you saw my uh, collection video last time. I had a Yellow Ranger, but the... Uh, Man, it was all messed up. The helmet, the paint, and this one I got with really good paint, so I'm happy with that. The other one I'll just leave displayed unmasked, and then this one helmeted, so happy to have one of these. And then I have the, I'll just have this for like Walmart Hall Wave 1. <laughs> I'll, I'll save the best for last, let's just say. You probably already know what that is. So... Next up, we have the Netflix series, Transformers War for Cybertron. I got the Decepticon Disguise Mirage, or if he's just a Decepticon, I don't know if he's like, you know, I don't know. I don't know what's up with the show just yet. I can't wait to watch this, uh, but damn, it looks badass. It looks badass. I really, really, really like how this looks, and then... Um, I got this, the spoiler box, which they showed at New York Toy Fair, and when I saw it, I was like, oh, crap, but it's spoilers inside, and I want to open it so bad, but I have, I have to wait, like, that's just me. Um, please don't spoil it in the comments for me, or for anyone, um, so I'm not gonna unbox it now, I'm so sorry, but I'll wait, I'll definitely, I, I, I just can't wait to open this up once... You know, I've seen the series. I'm so excited for this show. And the War for Cybertron line has just been one of the best lines to collect. More Transformers goodies. <laughs> I got Grapple. I got Starscream. So, super excited for that G1 look. And then I got um, Cliff Jumper. So... Uh, they were all at Target, so I'm like, yep, gotta get them. And then the big, big Transformers scores for me were, um, got the Astro Train Earth Rise version. And then we have, dude, Optimus Prime, so sick. Like, I, this is one of my most anticipated figures this year, and I was hunting them down like crazy couldn't find them and i finally found them and i'm just like <laughs> swipe you know <laughs> gotta get it gotta get it then i got the uh lando calrissian the face print technology one the empire strikes back i wanted this one because i have the older one and i'm starting to sell like get rid of all the outdated ones because I want the face printed ones. They look fantastic. So this Lando looks freaking cool. What else I got at Target? Oh yeah, I got the Justice League Dark movie, by the way. I did see it. I highly recommend it. You gotta see this. 
the whole New 52 continuity thing that they did had its ups and downs, but my god, what an epic conclusion. Like, oh man, so, so good. Um, very satisfied with the ending, and it has the Adam Strange short, which I gotta check out, and special features that I wanna see. Let's get to it. Let's go! X-Men Age of Apocalypse Wave. Man, let me tell you, when I went to the first Walmart, like... They just had Wolverine, and I'm like, oh, what the hell? So uh, my wife and I were like, oh, let's check the next Walmart buy. It's, it's a funny story because like we're we go to the to the Walmart, and then we're like, oh man, really nothing here. So when I found Wolverine, and the first time around, it was just him. That's it. I was like, no, man, I, that pisses me off. I hate finding just one figure of a wave. Like I want to buy the entire wave right away. That's just me because. You know, I don't want to buy a few figures from a wave and then have an incomplete bath. To me, that's just like having a broken figure. It just That's just me just annoys the shit out of me. That's just my, I don't know, my OCD. I like to have everything complete at once. So, uh, when we went to the next Walmart, we were like, oh crap, we don't see anything. And we're going like up and down and trying to check for pallets and stuff and see if they had any. And then my wife just pulls me aside. She's like, Hey, babe, look! And I'm like, oh crap, there they are on the shelf, not even on the pegs, just sitting and resting on the shelf. And I'm just like, wow, we literally were about to leave <laughs> and totally could have missed out on this, man. I am just so happy. I'm so stoked. I love the Age of Apocalypse storyline. Like, that was one of my all time favorites, you know, as a kid, because just like, Reading that, I don't know. It was epic. Some I know. I know some people didn't like that storyline. They could say all the crap they want. Oh, no, no, no. Their costumes were whack, or it's, every, I don't know. Their costumes were different and stuff like that. Every X Men era has different costumes, and I think they are fantastic. Anyway, you know, uh, I love this. Love this. Love this storyline. And here is a Wolverine right there. So. You know, getting a good look at him. And I really, really love, you know, how he got his hand blasted off by Cyclops. Uh, Jesse Falcon actually told me, the uh, the legendary jo Jesse Falcon, talked to him at Toy Fair. He told me the whole story behind that, um, the inspiration from the movie, uh, where they got it from. So that was, that was pretty cool. Um, and then we have Morph, you know, gotta have, gotta have Morph. This is the first Morph Marvel Legends figure, surprisingly, not his animated series form, but, you know, I think this is just to, like, smooth us in. I definitely think we're gonna get an animated series Morph soon, but, yeah, wacky head. I always, I don't know, I just, I just like the way he looked here. And then we have Dark Beast. Man, this guy looks epic. By the way, I love the packaging. It's nice and bright. I love the, I love the logo on it, but, yeah. Looking real cool. Sugar! <laughs> Damn, this is dope. And it looks like they used the Beast body mold, the regular Beast body mold, just new molded pants. I'm, I'm, I'm impressed. Like, look at that. Oh, he looks sadistic. He looks sick. Like, so, so menacing. I love that. Love that. And then I have oh, here. Man, Walmart killed me today. And Target. <laughs> oh my god I'm trying to get this out of the bag and here we have wild child wow he looks so good and i do think we're gonna get a uh, aoa wave two and i hope we get a saber tooth i'm we better get a saber tooth can't have wild child without him so oh man he looks so cool and he's got the painted nails i think his toenails were actually black in the comics they're just white but still spider-man body mold i thought he was going to be a little bit smaller i thought they were going to use the um superior spider-man um that mold would have been better that was a little bit smaller he's a little bit taller i always remember wild child being like you know tiny ripped and um by the way if you're asking me who what i'm gonna review first <laughs> you know it's gonna be the marvel legends you know um i do have scarlet plan though for uh gi joe i just have her right there i got the pics done i gotta film it hopefully i could get that done real quick tonight oh man sunfire looking so sick this is his second 
Marvel Legends um, uh, figure in this, you know, in this look. So he looks good. No all hands though, man. I was I was hoping for some all hands, but damn, he looks fantastic. And I could already tell he's gonna light up beautifully. Um, so I'm gonna have fun photographing this guy. Uh, um, I was supposed to get a diorama. Uh, for Wolverine to do some AOA shots, but fortunately I didn't get in time, but I definitely will take shots with that whenever I get it. I was hoping to get it for the reviews, but hey, it happens. And then, did I show off every figure yet? Oh no, uh, probably my most anticipated figure out of this wave, man, X-Man. He looks absolutely fantastic. Oh God, paint splotch right there on uh, his arms, crap. Ah, uh, oh well. But, um, I'll just probably buy an extra. Anyway, he looks great. I already see, like, some new molding parts, like, uh, the knee pads, the jacket. I thought it was, uh, have, Havoc would have the same jacket. I guess it's not a reuse. It's really, really cool. Really like that eye effect, man. That's so dope. Wow. <laughs> Sugar Man, one of the characters I do not like, I gotta say. When I saw him at Toy Fair, I'm like, that figure looks dope. I don't care if I dislike a character if a figure is dope, it is dope. I will get it, no doubt. Um, and then lastly, we have the funniest package of them all, man. Look at this. <laughs> Jean Grey. And it's like extra secured. It's like plastic on top of plastic on top of another plastic seal. Wow. Um, <laughs> wow, this is funny. She looks like she's cuddling him or just like saying, what the f <laughs> Oh, man, this is funny. Absolutely hilarious. Anyway, I'm blown away. I, I can't wait to open this all up and, uh, you know, get working on the reviews. Let me know who you want me to review first. Who do you want to see? This is just a bunch of fun. So, yeah, that was my crazy ass haul. <laughs> so, yeah. Ugh. While it is drained. Also, I do have new stuff coming in. I did order the Mezco blade, so I'm excited to get that. That should be arriving next week. And also, I'm waiting to get the uh, SH Figure Arts Spider-Man PS4 Anti-Ox Suit from Big Bad Toy Store. So I should be getting that within the next week or so as well. So I am looking forward to a lot, a lot of plastic. In any way, please drop a like rating on the video if you enjoyed it. You know, that helps support my channel and I greatly appreciate it. So uh, anyways, this has been X-Many 87. Peace, peace.